Hello and welcome to the news in English live from Mogadishu. With me, I am Omar Nur. The top headlines include Somali president returns to the country after two day working trip to Tanzania. East African community is just reviewing the request by Somali government to join the East African trade bloc after their meeting in Arusha city. At least two people were reported to have been killed and several others wounded after an explosion in central Somalia. Somali National Army and the African Union forces in the country are meeting to discuss the threat of the IED attacks by Al-Shabaab militants. Ethiopian new police have just displayed weapons they seized from Al-Shabaab during an attack on the long border between the two countries. Kenny's Mira uh, traders have accused uh, Somali politicians of being the main obstacle to resume the import uh, of the narcotic leafies to Mogadishu. United States President Joe Biden is recovering from COVID-19 after he has isolated himself uh, at home. The Foreign Affairs Minister of Russia is heading to Africa to pay his first visit to Ethiopia and Egypt after the invasion of Ukraine. Welcome back to the news in detail. We begin with the new agreement between Somalia and Kenya over the cut importation. Somali's federal government is yet again under increasing pressure of a cut importation from Kenya with traders from the East African nation accusing authorities in Mogadishu of restraining uh, the deal between Somali president and his Kenyan counterpart, Uhuru Kenyatta, that was signed earlier this month in Nairobi. The agreement was signed after talks between the two countries' leaders at the State House in Nairobi. President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed, who now wanted Somalia to join the East African community signed an agreement with Uhuru Kenyatta which paved the way for the importation of Mira following years of frustration engineered by former Somali government uh, led by Famajo. On Friday, Kenny's Mira Traders Association uh, branch chairperson Kimothi Manjuri accused unnamed rich brokers of frustrating the deal adding that a number of them are now trying to secure importation contracts from the federal government of Somalia. There have been some groundies from Somalia who have come here, Kenya, saying they have the clearance in their hands and they are only ones who will be allowed to export Mira into Somalia and they are only going to work with Kenyan Mira traders who meet their terms and conditions he has claimed. The group of the brokers he noted seems to be having connections to powerful officials in Nairobi and Mogadishu, adding that their interference would greatly jeopardize the current agreement, which was signed barely a fortnight ago by the two countries. We have seen the kind of elbowing show off during the inauguration ceremony of the Somali president and also the push 
and pull, which is sign that they are supported from the top organs of the two governments, uh, said uh, the Mirat Traders Association chairperson. But the two who battle control the card industry, the fate of the farmers and traders now lays in the solely hand of these men who are not only greedy for money but power to control this sector. The sector generates billions of U.S. dollars to the economy of Kenya. Somali President His Excellency Hassan Sheikh Mohammed has returned to today to Mogadishu after a two-day of office, official visit to the neighboring Tanzania where he attended the East African Community Summit. President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed has participated in the closing ceremony of the East African Community Head of State Summit held in Arusha, Tanzania, on Friday and Thursday, where the leaders of the seven member countries have just uh, received a request uh, by the Somali government to, to join the regional plot. President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed held uh, sideline meetings with other African leaders as he campaigned uh, for the approval of the request of the Somali government. Uh, he shared the economic and social opportunities in Somalia with the leaders of the East African community who noted that the verification exercise for the admission of the Federal Republic of Somalia into the plug had been undertaken and uh, directed uh, to the council extraordinary uh, ministerial uh, visit to Mogadishu is expected to take place in the coming weeks to assess uh, the request of the Somalia. President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed has thanked the leaders of the East African community for the opportunity they give him to strengthen the request of Somali government to join the regional plug and he praised the people and the government of the Republic of Tanzania for the hospitality they gave him as he, his delegation arrived in Arusha on Thursday. President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed held the meeting with various leaders including the President of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta, Tanzania's uh, leader Samia Suluhu, Uganda's President uh, Yuri Museveni, and Burundi's President uh, Everest. President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed, who attended the meeting of the East African plug in Arusha, has just uh, concluded his meeting and returned to, to Mogadishu on Saturday morning. Uh, Somali government has urged the East African community leaders to speed up it is country's membership application. Are still following our news in English live from Mogadishu. Kenyan police and uh, security forces on Friday said they have heightened security in the country 
ahead of the expected general election slated for August 9th. Hilary Motoyampo, Inspector General of the Kenyan Police, told the local journalists in Nairobi on Friday, the capital of the country, that a total of 150,000 police officers uh, drawn from the partner is scrutinist agency will be deployed during the election to secure a safe environment for all to cast their votes during the August 9th general elections in Kenya. Formed police units have also been deployed across the country to offer tactical support to the general duty officers before, during and after the general election, as Mutiambo has added. He has revealed that there is a further provision for the deployment of the aircraft strategic location to provide logistical air support when and were required throughout the electioneering period in Kenya. The August election is said to be heightened and highly contested between major political alliances, Kenya's Kwanzaa, headed by Deputy President William Ruto, and Azimo Lawimunja, which is led by former Prime Minister Raila Odinga. President Uru Kenyatta, who is serving his final term in office, has opted to support Odinga, his former rival, and for the top post, who is making his fifth presidential run uh, than his own deputy. Mutiambo observed that the part of the preparation for the election is they have put in place elaborate measures to strategies ensure that security is guaranteed through the electoral cycle uh, to enable the independent electoral and ponderous commission to conduct a free, credible and fair elections in Kenya. To ensure proper coordination of all activities surrounding the election, Kenyan police have also established an election security strategy, he said. Uh, Mutiambo observed that Kenyan police have also developed election security guidelines for the use by the police commanders uh, to address gaps in elections experienced during the previous elections in Kenya. The police are aware of the need to sensitize the trained officers and election uh, security management to ensure they are equated with their police and responsibilities, he has added. Kenyan security have been extremely heightened uh, to avert Al-Shabaab militant attacks during the next month election. That's all for our today's English News live from Mogadishu with me. I am Omar Noor and the rest of the team here in our studio will leave you bye for now. Kafarhi, el kagas habta da yo qaraba da. Abkad Dahab Shield, Siat Sifudul Lago Gudurto. Marka Adlas would dictate application to Dahab Shield, Ed Laka de Reso, Estimal Korka had Madla Ante a tree free, Okusa Halaya, in Satta Chere, Goreya, Ed Lag de Reso, and Wahmad Halaga Kadi. Dahab Shield, Halfuda Idi Hagamaliadi.